Hello, book friends. Thank you for joining me. My name is Flo, and this is the Grape Jelly Library, where we love to talk about books. Has anybody tried this water before? Karma water. Is it available where you are located? Um, two billion cultures in there. Um, I usually drink my uh, water on the rocks, but um, sometimes I drink a flavored water. Not, not, you know, it's not typical of me, but every once in a while, I uh, will drink a flavored water, especially in the summertime. Um, so in the refrigerator up here in the library, I, opened it because I needed a drink of water and I don't have any bottled water up here but I do have flavored water up here so I just grabbed one of these I don't know how long it's been in there probably since the summer um I don't care how long it's been up there been in there it was sealed so um you know good enough for me but December nope don't know don't know when this sucker expires but anyways it was still sealed so and there's quite a bit of it in there, so we are going to drink it. This flavor is Bing Cherry, and it is the Undiluted Truth in Digestive Health. Um, it's only 20 calories. Probiotics in kombuchas. Now, I don't like kombuchas. There are so many of you out there who do, and I am not one of them. I cannot get on board with that, but I can get on board with this. It is a delicious, refreshing um, cherry flavor. What you do is um, the flavor powder is up in the cap and you push that button down and it releases the flavor into the water and then you give it a little shake and then you have pure deliciousness in a in a 18 fluid ounce bottle. Yum. All right, so today is Tuesday. We are going to do a tag. I have been tagged uh, by Michael Romeo from Michael Romeo Talks Books. And I was also tagged from Reiner from Rainier Books. And um, this is the New York book tag. All right, the prompts. Number one, what is your favorite book set in or around New York? Okay, so I'm going to say I don't have a favorite book set in or around. However, um, it is of my opinion that any book set in New York City has got to be a winner. New York is where it's at. It's where the hustle and bustle is. It's where the life and the energy comes from. Um, so any book based in New York automatically it just has to be a great book it just has to be it's where great stories come from great stories are told um it's just a wonderful setting for a book to take place number two new york is famous for its skyscrapers what is the highest building you have been up well um, little old me is not very war worldly, so I have not really traveled the globe. However, there is a building um, quite near to where I live. I don't think the building has a name, but I think it goes some 30, maybe 40 stories high. Um, I, I remember one day around the age of 18 or 20, climbing all of the steps up to the top with my sister. We had some business we had to take care of and it was on the very top floor and the elevators were not working. So um, we did trek up all those steps. Um, and even now when I see that building, I look at it with pride knowing, you know, I climbed all the way to the top because I look like this, but actually it's like that. It was pretty tall but I don't think it has a name. Um, number three, New York, New York, so good they named it twice. What is the last book you reread? It is the only book I have ever reread, and that would be Dracula. I read it probably 10, 15 years ago, and I read it again this um, 
this October Halloween season just for the thrills and chills of it. I think I, you know, I think I like Dracula the most. Um, I also like the werewolf and I like his name is not escaping me now, but it's the Swamp Monster from Universal Studios. Does anybody remember what his name is? I can't remember it right now, but um, if I do, I will put it into the description. But I think those three characters I like the most. Um, but yes, I reread Dracula, the only book I've ever reread. Number four. American Psycho was a disturbing novel set in New York. What is the most disturbing book you have read? Oh, I read a couple disturbing books. Um, but recently, a book of poetry. Here it is. This, uh, my darling from the Lions, Rachel Long. This is disturbing. It's not, it's not poetry to me. It, poetry to me is... Um, something beautiful, um, elegant, eloquent, flowy. Um, this, it could even be painful and sorrowful and it could, you know, dark. It could even be that, but this like was none of that. This was just a waste of time. This was disturbing. Uh, number five. Where were you when you heard the news about 9-11? I was in work. Um, it was roughly 9 o'clock in the morning, somewhere between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. And um, I don't know, you know, I got a phone call from my mother. And she, she had said, oh, and my sister, two of them called me back to back and you know the first time that the plane went into the towers we all just thought it was a freak accident i also heard it over the radio but when the second plane hit then then we knew it was intentional because you know accidents like that that repeat itself so closely that that is just highly unlikely so we knew that it was intentional and um very, very scary and very um, um, sad, tragic. Uh, my heart went out and still goes out to all of those people that lost their life. All they were doing is just trying to make a living and earn a paycheck that day. And the evil forces that will be had the upper hand that day and just wreaked havoc on so many people's lives. I have chills right now um, at the tragedy in it all. Um, but that's where I was. I was I was in work and um, just in total shock. And you know, it's hard to get through the rest of the day because you, you cannot stay focused. You have a job to do, you know, but there was no way I was going to stay 100% focused on my job. I was just too, you know, too concerned about all of the people that lost their lives in that, in that tragedy. And, um, you know, the, the outcome of it and just seeing the sight after, you know, when every, when everything was beginning to be cleaned up, um, just taking that all in. It was too much, you know, too, just too, too much. Mm -mm. Terrible. Um, what is your favorite movie set in New York? A home alone um yeah home alone i'm gonna say because it, it has everything it has beauty like the house that kevin lived in and um the scenery the park where where the old lady is feeding the pigeons and um just you know it has comedy and it just has everything i i would say that i'm not a movie goer i have happened to have seen uh, that movie, and, and I am going to say Home Alone. 
Number seven, have you been to New York? When was the last time you visited New York? Yes, I have been to New York. Um, only, I'm going to say only a handful of times. Uh, maybe for a concert once. Um, and then we went shopping in Chinatown about hmm, maybe four years ago. And then we also went, you know, just to do some shopping and see uh, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and um, just get the whole experience. Uh, the Louis Vuitton store my sister wanted to visit and NBC Studios. Yeah, so it was a very um, fun. Oh, I always wanted to go ice skating at Rockefeller Center, and I finally got to cross that off my bucket list. Um, super, super fun time. I loved it. Um, number eight, who is your favorite painter from New York? Or what is your favorite painting of New York? My favorite painter from New York is... Norman Rockwell. Uh, one day I was out shopping and I came across a copy of one of his paintings. And even that copy was quite expensive, but I couldn't take my eyes off of it. I do know I did not have a lot of money. I was young and I did not have a lot of money to work with that week, but I needed to make a decision. Either part with this money and bring this picture home with me or walk away from the picture and have somebody else buy it. So I spent every dime that I had on it. And I am happy to say some like 25, no, 30, 30 years later, I still have it. And I still love it just as much as the day that I brought it home. I'm going to see this one. I'm going to see, there's another picture that I have that I love. I don't know if it's a Norman Rockwell, and shame on me for not knowing that, but I'm going to go down in the Poilu, and I am going to scoop it out. Um, and just for kicks, whether it is or not, I'm going to share it with you, because it is another one of my favorite paintings. Um, I should know who did it, because I do love it. I do not. But I'm going to find out. I am going to find that out. Um, so, number nine, what is your favorite song about New York? So, I don't think it's a favorite song as much as it is a song that mentions New York. And I love Billy Idol's version of Hot in the City. And then when he gets to that one point in the song, he yells out, New York. Um, I love it because to me, that's like a Friday night party song. It's just full of energy and I just love it. Um, and now I am to tag some people. So I, I don't quite know who to tag. I don't know if Shannon from Shannon's Bookish musings did this tag shannon if you have not and you want to do this when you get a hot minute i would love to see your answers um who else um let's see let's go with red by fred fred did you do this if, you, if any of you did this tag, my apology. I try to get to your channels as often as I can, um, but it's impossible possible to get everybody's uh, channel all of the videos. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do Shannon and Fred, and I am going to also to use Heather from Heather's heroes and heroine. Also, if you have not done this tag and you would like to, please feel free to tag yourself. I would love to hear your answers. Until my next video, know that I love you. Be well, be good, and be reading.